safe to say that the Ronin 40 is unlike any other camera. What? I'm no pro cinematographer, but will this make it possible for me to create a long, stable one-shot, which is one of the toughest shots that we can do? So join us on our little adventure shooting with the DJI Ronin 4D and also testing out the brand new Flex system. So DJI contacted us and they asked if we could create something cool with this camera, the Ronin 4D. Anders is on vacation, on holiday. So uh, it will be a bit of a, like a home alone party. So we're going out today to just shoot something fun. Um, I think the best use case for this camera is maybe like a, a one take, like one long shot, just without any cuts. So we're gonna be, try to be a bit creative today, create something cool. <laughs> The DJI Ron 40 was released a bit over a year ago and it was one of the craziest cameras I've ever seen. Some of our editors, which aren't too tech savvy, had actually not seen this camera yet. And they had a similar reaction as when I saw it for the first time. Uh, what? I'm so confused. It's so strange looking. It doesn't look like a camera, but it does at the same time. It's safe to say that the Ronin 40 is unlike any other camera. It has a built-in four-axis stabilization, which includes the pan, tilt, and roll axis of traditional gimbals, but also the vertical up and down movement. And this is particularly useful when walking or running with the camera. Other than this crazy stabilization system, the camera boasts a 6K full-frame sensor, and it has an interchangeable lens mount, which currently supports the Jets DX, L mount, M mount, and the one we have, the Sony E mount. It has built-in ND filters, and the base ISOs are 800 and 5000. And it shoots up to ProRes 4444XQ. Uh, the menu systems are really nice, and they remind me of the Blackmagic cameras. All the settings are easy to find and intuitively laid out. The Ronin 40 is not only the camera itself, it is the whole ecosystem. Depending on what package you get, the Ronin 40 comes with a touchscreen, hand grips, transmitter, a monitor with a built-in receiver. And this monitor can also control the camera settings, gimbal, and focus. You also have a LiDAR focusing system, which makes it possible to have autofocus on manual signal lenses. Check out our video on the DJI RS3 Pro gimbal from last year if you want to see more from this ecosystem. The new feature of the Ronin 40 is that you can now separate the camera and the three-axis gimbal from the main camera body, connecting it with a cable called the Ronin 40 Flex. Before shooting with the full 4D setup, we went out to test the new Flex function. The traditional 4D, there's no way you could fit this in a car uh, like this. So we're trying now to set up uh, with the flex system um, to see if we can hang the gimbal here and then using the control to like pan it around. Um, so I've split the Ronin into two parts. So here is the small stripped down version. Only have the 35 millimeter on here, which is too tight in this situation. I would go wider, but Let's try it with the 35 and see how it goes. <laughs> it's a little bit of getting used to it, but other than that, it's fine. It definitely works to do an inside the car shoot. Yeah, and we could sit in another car in front and, and do wirelessly with this. That's even more amazing. <laughs> this is kind of amazing that you can do a uh, pan shot. <laughs> inside a car yeah no. that's not too often <laughs> that's not uh, i only seen one film they have done that in and that's children of men and that was a huge setup because if you wanted like a normal gimbal it would take a lot more space than this. yeah definitely much more space the flex is certainly nice both to get a lighter weight rig or also to fit it into smaller spaces but now we're gonna shoot with the full 40 setup so it's safe to say that this is a very interesting camera. I'm no pro cinematographer and certainly not a Steadicam operator, but will this make it possible for me with my limited skills to create a long stable one shot, which is one of the toughest shots that we can do. 
Together with Emma, our editor, I created an idea which she was going to act out in French. And why French, you ask? Well, of course, because French makes everything so much cooler. No, it's not Vidius, it's Vidius. Our plan was that Kim would do the sound recording, both with the lav mic attached under Emma's jacket and a boom mic, and Marius controlled the focus through the wireless monitor, and I would do my best to try to control the camera. So this is actually a really nice setup because you have this really small, small gimbal with, I mean, these really nice hand grips. It's much nicer to hold than like a traditional gimbal and you get most of the heavy weight like back in the backpack. But today we're gonna use the full 4-axis system because we need that up and down stabilizer as well. So we are attaching the LiDAR to the top and this is in order for Marius who's pulling focus to get a little bit more information. Yeah, there we go. Now I have connection. With the LiDAR scanner attached, you can get a top-down view of the scene. And here you can see Kim and Philip as white points on the waveform, making it easy to know if the subject is in front of or behind the focusing plane. And when you go closer, you can even see the features of the face, like the nose tip. We're all set, so let's start shooting. Unfortunately, because of the distance I was covering with the camera, Marius was standing too far away from the camera with the remote monitor, introducing too much delay for focusing. We ended up having to switch to autofocus with the LiDAR system, which actually worked surprisingly well. Are you happy? I think so. Yeah. What good? Yeah, what about you? It looked really good. Yeah. That looks like the best one so far. I think it's difficult to get it better than this. Like there are yeah. small things. Yeah, yeah, there's always small things you could adjust. Yeah. It's really hard to get it completely yeah. perfect, but yeah. I mean, it's stable. Yeah, definitely stable. <laughs> I think we're finished. Uh, we can't do anything about my horrible cinematography uh, skills, but here is the final result. Je viens de voir Raphaël, là en Norvège. Quoi Aujourd'hui à Bordeaux T'es sûr Ok, euh, bah, je dois avoir mal vu alors. Euh, sinon, toi ça va Cool Ouais. Non, bah, il fait un peu froid ici, mais bon, on s'habitue. Juste la boîte de prod dans laquelle je suis, ils sont trop bizarres. <rire> non, ça se dit pas Vidius, ça se dit Vius. Mais t'inquiète pas, tout le monde fait l'erreur en même temps. Un peu débile comme nom, mais bon. Ouais, oui, Andiax, c'est leur chaîne YouTube. Et je crois que le nom, ça vient d'un pseudo euh, World of Warcraft, d'un des gars qui bossent ici. Ouais, non, mais stupide, encore une fois, je te, te l'avais dit. Mais ils ont des idées trop bizarres. Genre, ils m'ont dit, oui, vas-y, cours dans un parc, fais semblant d'être poursuivi euh, par un gars qui s'appelle Raphaël. Et après, euh, appelle ton amie, euh, elle s'appelle Louise. Je connais personne qui s'appelle Louise. Mais bon, à part ça, ça va. Et regarde là, par exemple, ils viennent de me dire, Ouais, vas-y, glisse dans un toboggan pour enfants. Euh, c'est pas pro tout ça. Et si ça pouvait pas être pire, ils ont pas de baguette, ils ont pas de croissant. Ça me manque, moi, tout ça. Ouais. Bon, allez, je te laisse. Salut, Louise. Stop following me, creeps. Considering my limited experience as a gimbal operator, I think their results was pretty decent. We could have done much more takes, which would get rid of all the small mistakes, but this was done in less than an hour of shooting. And the Ronin 40 really simplified getting stable shots, and I'm really impressed by the image as well. 
first and foremost, this is a really fun camera to use that inspires you to go shooting. In addition to this one-shot scene, Kim and I used the Ronin 4D when we were out skiing and snowboarding over the weekend. And we also used it for filming behind the scenes for a green screen shoot we did. The stable image makes it really easy to get high and looking shots, even if you're just a solo operator. Is this the camera we as a film production company are going to use for most occasions? Certainly not. This is a niche camera meant for very specific use cases. But what it does well, it does really well. We are looking forward to testing out this camera more in the future. And don't worry, Anders will be back in the next episode, so you don't have to look at us amateurs messing around anymore. We're not amateurs. It's just that I'm, I'm used to making the videos, that's why. See you soon. Hold it up.